dabbling more into the lane of women's fiction. Um, you know, I don't think that I, I think that urban fiction is one of those categories where where it has kind of become like a if it's not street enough, it's not urban fiction to some people. I thought urban fiction was just about it. It, it had our black ass stories. I don't know. So at this point, I'm going kind of sort of towards the women's fiction route, potentially. I don't know. Okay, I am back with the inner. Uh, I am back with a book review. My hair is just, girl, you doing whatever you want to do today. Okay. It is titled Before His Choice. It is a part of the dark romance prequel, His Duet. It's by Clarissa Wilde. I saw this book had 287 book reviews. It's currently at a 3.9 rating. It is 17 pages. It came out February 22nd of 2020. So the book summary is, my father is one of the rulers of the family, a community cut off from society. The people think we are perfect, but no one knows what goes on behind closed doors. They won't understand the choice I have to make and neither will she. The family doesn't treat girls nicely. For her, there are rules that have to be obeyed, even if they end in pain, hardship, and ruin, but I will save her even if she'll hate me for it. This book here is truly a good, ooh, it is a good way to give insight on how it is to be in some of these communities where a man's feelings and his say on things and his take on things that is the end all be all okay if he says this is how it's going to go that's how it's going to go if he says that the sky is raining and that it's purple and pink well then that's just what it is in this society once they are a certain age the men in this society have to get these tattoos and the tattoos are super painful um the main character you know his his father just goes and takes the boy and gets him tattooed without even consulting the mother mother even a little bit the boy's name is noah um you know he's saying how painful the tattoo is the elder is like oh it's almost done he inscribes our family symbol on our hand um you know, the dad is like super fine and happy about it, even though the boy's only 14. Dad doesn't care. The mother tries to go ahead and tells like the father, like, don't you think you should have considered talking to me about this? Like she literally says, like, why couldn't you wait? My mother yells at my father. This is what happens every other day. Sometimes it's because of choices he made without asking her. Sometimes it's because he's too drunk to behave. And sometimes it's because he can't keep his hands to himself. He is my son. I will decide what happens with him. And when my father yells back, clenching a bottle of booze in his hand. The father is not shy about putting his hands on Noah's mother. He's not shy about showing. He rules with an iron fist. What he says is going to go is going to go. He doesn't give a damn about what women think. Women are just not valued in this society. They're not taken into consideration of, you know, it's just a very, very old school society. And Noah is not going for it. There's a young lady in the community that he's like, I don't want to see her fall victim to this. Like, he even goes to his to the girl's mother and tells her, like, listen, I'm going to save her from this. You might hate me later. She might hate me later. I don't want to see her fall victim to what I've seen my mother fall victim to. Um, everything gets swept under the rug in this community, too. His mother ends up becoming deceased at some point in the book and it's like life just goes on life just goes on as if there wasn't just a woman that was just alive and thriving in this thriving in this community along with the rest of us everyone just kind of continues on there was a part of the book that had me with the sad face of like oh my god um so it says you know, I stare at the ground in front of me, the dug up soil and the giant hole that appeared when they were done. There's space for just one person there. There's no bed, no soft cushion, nothing to make the final resting place more comfortable for my mother. I stare at her body wrapped in thick white shrouds as they hoist her down into the hole. It's strange looking at that thing and imagining it's my mother 
One day I'm still talking to her. Then the next, her smile was gone forever. I wonder what she looks like underneath those sheets. If they covered her skin in paint to hide the bruises. If anyone had ever noticed or cared to tell another soul about her suffering. I didn't and now I pay the price. But I won't cry a single tear. Not today. Not with this man standing behind me, clutching my shoulder, burying his fingers into my skin as if to say, you're mine and you know this will happen to you too if you don't obey the rules this was a good read i don't even have to go on a long-winded rant about this book i have never read a book by this author before it certainly will not be the last i believe i was able to successfully find this author on facebook so i look forward to being able to try and get this book review linked to them once it comes out if you have not already go ahead and hit the subscribe button i'm coming with book reviews twice a week i have some great opportunities that i'm going to be a part of this year i am super super excited um my favorite ex is still free for the time being i don't know how much longer i'm going to have it free so please share the link and book cover with people. It is free on Amazon, um, Barnes and Nobles, Kobo, Gardner, a bunch of different sites. What ha what ties us together is coming soon as well. I'm still repping my books on my t-shirts, okay? We have Don't Look Away and Kiss Me Goodnight. I have successfully put out 30 titles in the past three years from short stories, novellas, um, novels, some urban fiction, some psychological thrillers, some women's fiction. I am dabbling more into the lane of women's fiction. Um, you know, I don't think that, I, I think that urban fiction is one of those categories where, where it has kind of become like, a, if it's not street enough, it's not urban fiction to some people. I thought urban fiction was just about, it, it had our black ass stories. I don't know. So at this point, I'm going kind of sort of towards the women's fiction route, potentially. I don't know. I appreciate how much I've been supported on this channel. Every single day, my followers are going up. Um, I appreciate every little follow, every little share, every little comment. If you've ever read a book by me, drop a heart below. If you've ever shared a book by me, drop a heart below. I appreciate all of the love and support. I look forward to seeing you in my next book review. Bye.